What up? What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're about to go over the best defense and adjustments to be able to shut down the most meta type of offenses in college football 25. Now, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the type of tips that I bring to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video. The comment section is for you guys to request any kind of breakdowns that you would like to see. I will get into the lab and cook it up. Okay, I am in the 335 tight defensive playbook. We're going to break down an insane defensive scheme. Let's go. All right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. 335 Mint is my base defense, okay? So you have to kind of know what you are facing as far as four strong or three strong formations. Four strong formations will cancel match and turn it into a zone drop. So if you look at my 335 Mint, I am in the 335 tight defensive playbook. This is matching concepts on the cornerback side. Okay, another key adjustment. Once you get to this play screen right here, down at the bottom, right stick. I like to push right stick until I get the slot cornerback package. That means that my top safeties won't have the outside third adjustments. They will have the deep half and the inside quarter adjustments like a regular normal nickel formation. Okay, so if you're struggling with the adjustments at the top, change your packages. Down at the bottom, we have slot cornerback. Okay, so now we're going to come into cover six. I love cover six in college football. You can do so many adjustments with blitzes. You can do so many adjustments with coverage. And all you got to do is just lurk around for about three seconds. Great pass rush. So you can go here, tap it twice, put a star on that. Go into all cover sixes in your defensive playbook. We're going to start off with the RPO alert halfback flat out of the UNLV offense. Somebody in the comment section said they were struggling with the UNLV offense. So I'm going to break it down for you guys. So first, we're going to start off with the RPO alert. So the first thing you want to do when you set this defense up, whenever you see this guy on the line of scrimmage right here, I like to push right D pad and then shift to the right. Okay, I want him to come up. Now, this guy right here is crucial. So, know your depth chart, get you some speed, get you some good coverage stats. Now, for the first setup, this is a four strong formation. Actually, it's five receivers. So, my match defense will get canceled. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shift my linebackers to the right. Then, I'm going to push Y or triangle, shade underneath. It seems like a lot of steps, but it's not. Now I'm going to push right D-pad two times, and I'm going to man him up with the X icon. He should be the person on the RPO. Now, I like to move this guy inside leverage, so then he doesn't get picked up by the blocker easy. And from there, I'm just going to have my user making sure he's away from the line. I don't want him to get picked up by the line. If you come down too close, you're going to get the check mark over your head. The offensive line can see you, and that's when you're going to be able to be engaged. I want to be out somewhere where the check mark is gone. Okay, so when we run this play originally, we're going to hike the ball, and then we're going to look at it. I'm going to come down, try to make the tackle. Don't be hit stick horny like me. Just make the tackle. Okay, this is going to force your opponent out of this play. Now, this is the handoff. Okay, so you can see the handoff. I'm able to shoot down. We have great block share on the line, and we focus in on the run part. Okay, so we're going to do that again. We're going to break it down. So I'm going to shift opposite of the running back. And then I'm going to push wire triangle shade down and I'm going to man him up with the potential RPO person. From there, you can move these guys down. Trust me, once you get the setup down, it don't take a lot of time and you can crash your line any way that you want to to give yourself better run. And then we're going to come down and we're just going to shoot through a gap. Block sheds, stop the run. If they're getting one or two yards on the run, that's awesome. Now let's pay attention to the RPO side. So we're going to shift over, shade down, man him up, boom. Play is all set up. I like to move these people down. Now we're going to set up for the RPO. I move him in a little bit. 
Now I'm gonna crash down with my line or change the uh, angles and we're gonna look at the pass. So right here, we got the pass right there. We're gonna hike the ball and we're gonna try to throw it and we have somebody right there in the area, okay? Now, the good thing about this defense is it's universal. So let's say they go into a play action or something. So play action spot, okay? So instead of a run or RPO, they try to pass it. That's what makes this defense real good. So number one, you can have the pass set up just by shading down and you're gonna already have great defense. So if you shade down and you know that it's like a third down and seven, third down and nine, they have to pass the ball. All you wanna do is just shade down Y or triangle down on the right stick. And then you can come right here, push R1 or RB and then pass right stick up. It's a good chance he's gonna pass it. And right there, you're gonna get great great pressure especially if they do a play action so i would stand right here get the bars over my head and then i would push the square on playstation to make the audibles pop up and i'm just gonna swoop down so if they come right here boom swoop down we're gonna have fast pressure and look at that before the routes can even develop we are in there body slamming the quarterback now if you want to go more in depth with my scheme i have a full scheme versus every type of offense that you will face online make sure that you go in the link in the description or the comment section get the full ebook and make sure you become a patreon member to show your support okay so looking back at this number 74 comes out to me remember i got the check mark on my head when it's a passing situation if it's first down second down you're not sure if he's gonna pass or run you don't want the check mark on your head now if he comes out and he establishes the run early make sure that you don't guess pass okay you don't want to get pancakes so once he come down i'm staying right here and look at that i guess pass he's not worried about the play action boom before he can even get down the field look at this okay play action if he cancels the play action who is he going to throw it to he can throw it to this running back real fast and get two or three yards but he needs seven yards so he's going to need something further down the field now that's the basic breakdown to get you guys started on being better on defense if you guys want me to go more in depth let me know by dropping a thumbs up on the video if there's any formations that you're struggling with let me know and if you want to become a better player and just start dominating all type of competition get the ebook or become a patreon member down below and in the comment section one love